Hello and welcome to our beloved course grammatical structure Today we are going to have a very very light meal I mean a very light lesson but it's going to be like a very light meal on your stomach and in your head um, Today we are going to be uh, talking about very simple lesson that is called phrasal verbs what do you mean by phrasal verbs it's like a verb and a preposition verb plus preposition or what is called particles let's meet them we have agree with I agree with you let's have examples I agree with you so we have this is the verb and this is the preposition I agree with you this sorry this belongs to Ahmed for example belong to I want to talk to you I am waiting for my friend I am looking for something this or you remind me of my ankle for example you remind me of my ankle because you you look similar I want to ask about something so these verbs take special prepositions you cannot for example say I agree uh, in you can say for example I agree uh, with you in doing this but you cannot say I agree in you or you cannot say I agree uh, on you the correct is to say I agree with you this be belong with Ahmed no this belongs to Ahmed I talk uh, you can say I talk with if it is a conversation between two I talk with the cameraman but I am talking to you uh, I wait uh, and you can say for example I wait and or I wait on I wait for I look for remind me of you ask about something so waiting for it means you are sitting or standing waiting for something to happen you look for you search for something uh, and then we have more uh, phrasal verbs these are called inseparable verbs it means you cannot separate them check into it means to register your name your name you go to a hotel and then you check into that hotel come across you find or uh, you meet with something find or met you drop by you visit you keep up with you stay on the same level go over you review go through you experience or you have take care of you supervise stay up remain uh, awake so uh, for example with go over you can say go over your homework go over your homework before you give it to me for example go through well you can say I have been going through bad time I have been going through bad time it means you you are experiencing or you are having bad time take care take care this is something that is uh, well known to you you stay up you remain awake you can say for example I stayed up until 2 
a.m. in the morning. You stayed up means you remained awake. So if you know all of these phrasal verbs, you understand their meaning and you know how to use them, uh, then uh, let's say for example, you have this in the exam. I, ch sorry. You have this. The hotel. I, the hotel. So which one of these would fit in the gap? Check into, come across, drop by, keep up with, go over, go through, take care of, stay up, check into is the correct answer. So the you can have it here in the gap. Uh, I check into the hotel or you can have it in the past tense. I checked into the hotel uh, to make the sentence correct. So we add ed just for this sentence. So uh, uh, again more uh, phrasal verbs bring up you raise you look over review or read quickly try out means to test work out to find a solution so you can say they are bringing up their children very well so they are bringing up their children very well. It means they are raising their children. They are educating them very well. Uh, look over your homework before you submit it to me. Like the example before. Uh, you can, for example, can I try out the, uh, for example, uh, the cake? You want to taste it, to test whether it is good or not. Uh, we need to, for example, you say here, we need to work out a solution for the problem. So work out. You want to find a solution. We want to work out uh, the problem or work out a solution for the problem so to summarize you need to know all of these phrasal verbs uh, know their meaning and know how to use them in a in a sentence um, let's have one more example you have to your tests before you submit it so the sentence is you have to then blank your test before you submit it so which one of these bring up you have to bring up your test no try out no work out no the correct is you have to look over your test before you submit it. You need to read it very quickly. You read your answers very quickly. You review it before you submit your paper. So this is it for, for today. Very simple, as I told you. Very easy. You need just to know their meanings. Know how to, to make uh, sentences out of them. Like the sentences here. And that's it for today. Uh, we have here... One last thing, uh, academic words. We use this in academia, in academic writing. Add up, finish up, write up, check in, check out, do over, look over, fill in, fill out, hand in, hand out, hand back. These are used in academic writings for people who want to do some research. Otherwise, what's important to me that you know at least all of, uh, all of the phrasal verbs that you have just met and then you know their meanings, their usage, the sentences, the examples, and then you will be very fine. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you in the next lesson, inshallah.